know how important is sleep so this week i'm going to be focusing on sleep because i've lost a lot of confidence in lockdown um i keep wanting to say a lot of weight i haven't done that um and i think often we don't think about sleep enough and it's quite a pressure isn't it when people say oh yeah it's just sleep more because when we're so busy or stressed it's really really hard but I'm gonna try a few ways to adjust my sleep so I actually had a really good sleep last night and I'm listening to the power of atomic habits so I've got to make myself do 10 burpees <laughs> um, and it's amazing how much sleep makes you feel so much better i've had way too much coffee but i have taken my medication on time which is a bit of a sedative so i'm going to try and take my cbd and hopefully that chills me out a bit more because i feel a bit anxious but i think that's because i haven't done as much exercise as normal and probably had too much caffeine as well i was feeling really poorly last night but i had a good sleep i took my cbd so i was a lot more zen so I won't lie this week, I started off well last Sunday night um, with my sleep and it did make me feel so much better. Um, but I've kind of gone off track quite a lot, even with the help of CBD and my normal meds. <laughs> important is sleep so this week i'm going to be focusing on sleep because i've lost a lot of confidence in lockdown and um, i keep wanting to say a lot of weight i haven't done that um and i think often we don't think about sleep enough and it's quite a pressure isn't it when people say oh yeah it's just sleep more because when we're so busy or stressed it's really really hard but I'm gonna try a few ways to adjust my sleep so because I've lost a lot of confidence I've been like going to bed really late because I've been worried about my work working long hours and um, doing a lot of fitness which is great but normally fitness would like make me really tired but I think because I'm not getting outdoors as much um yeah i'm building that back up so i'm going to try and build my confidence up with doing more outdoors fitness which will also tire me out i'm also going to try cbd and um, i also take medication for my mental health so i'm going to actually try and get that in a routine and i'm also going to try and do some reading i'm not going to do it all at once i'm going to try little bits at a time so this morning i actually woke up early i had a good rest on sunday night which i never do i actually took my medication on time um, which i should do um but i've been so busy i haven't been taking it on time um or getting the proper rest and then this morning i've done dance and i didn't get a proper rest last night um, but i feel all right actually because again i took my medication on time it's getting into that routine and i'm listening to atomic habits so it's all about putting systems in place so i'm trying out trialing out sleep because i've sorted out my fitness i think um because i've just done my dance class this morning which i love my belly dancing you can check out my belly dancer sophie may channel um for feel good workout and dancing and just me crazy dancing um but at the same time i know my new book is eat sleep control repeat i'm actually missing the sleep element so this is how i get on first night Sunday night. I'm going to call Sunday the first night because I did well. <laughs> and then last night I didn't do so well. I was up with 1am. Oh, you can see all my washing and mess in my house then because <laughs> I'm holding on to the mic. Um, and then, yeah, last night I didn't get on so well. I literally fell asleep at my desk. Um, but I'm going to try different habits. Um, so today I'm going to try and get my work done earlier and start to wind down. So let's see how that goes. And I'm going to try the CBD tonight as well to see if that has an impact because everyone keeps raving about it, but I've never tried it. So I actually had a really good sleep last night and I'm listening to the power of atomic habits. So I've got to make myself do 10 burpees. <laughs> um, and it's amazing how much 
sleep makes you feel so much better. And I've got up this morning, done my hit class. Now I'm writing, but I'm having writer's block. So I'm doing 10 burpees and I will put a link to Audible below because I've been listening to The Power of Atomic Habits. And it's photo shoot day today and it's amazing when you feel so much better from a good night's sleep. Let's do this. So after my hit, I've written my column. I feel a lot better. I'm going to do some filming now for a new vodcast podcast slash vlog um, on recovery journeys. And part of that, one of the topics is going to be sleep at some point. Um, but yeah, I feel so much better, especially after exercise as well. So fitness wise, you know that I always manage to cram that in. Um, but the habit of bad sleep I got into in lockdown is the thing that I'm adjusting at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into better habits now. I'm determined. Although when it's pressure on sleep, then that sometimes stops you sleeping. So try not to put too much pressure on yourself with the whole sleep thing. Just a standard day in my house, in my belly dance gear, just been dancing for a music video in my garden. So I've had a busy day of filming and doing my work and writing. And now I've had way too much coffee, but I have taken my medication on time, which is a bit of a sedative. So I'm going to try and take my CBD and hopefully that chills me out a bit more because I feel a bit anxious but I think that's because I haven't done as much exercise as normal and probably had too much caffeine as well um, but I'm going to try and get well I say an early night it's half ten and I've still got work to do so you know we'll see how we get on so I'm not doing as well as I was last night um, but I think that was helped last night because I had a personal training session as well um, just before so we'll see how we get on anyway so I've done some work on my laptop. I'm really drowsy now as I've taken my medication. Um, I won't lie, I totally forgot about the CBD. And now I'm so drowsy, I'm going to try and actually... What I do is I convince myself that it's a bit like with exercise. You can hear me slurring now. Um, I just think if I get up and do exercise on a morning, even if I do nothing, doing anything is better than nothing. And it's the same with sleep at the moment. I keep thinking, well, if I just close my eyes, even if I don't go to sleep, I can then still do stuff. Um, so rather than just stay awake until I literally collapse at the office desk. So I will start my CBD tomorrow, finally, because I keep forgetting. So again, it's about building habits and listening to Audible, the power of atomic habits. So I need to build it into my day as well. And the wind down to sleep, but also at the moment trying this CBD. So apparently I'm wasting too much time, according to productivity experts, on putting the kettle on downstairs. So I have a solution. The biggest mug. I have a big head and it's nearly as big as my head. It fits a whole cafetiere of coffee. And you can get it on my new shop, on my new site, mamamay.co.uk. It's even got Mama May blog on. Because I'm like that, you know. Any excuse. So as it's been a heat wave, we've come to the seaside on Friday. Done slots. I was feeling really poorly last night, but I had a good sleep. I took my CBD. So I was a lot more zen. And then today we've had a bit of a stressful morning because um, the girls have been cray cray. Um, but I did have my nails done, so I can't complain. And my publisher of my new book came, so I'm very excited. So they say you learn more from failures than you do successes. So I won't lie this week. I started off well last Sunday night um, with my sleep and it did make me feel so much better. Um, but I've kind of gone off track quite a lot, even with the help of CBD and my normal meds. I've got my metazapine. Um, I have been better though at my routine, so taking my tablets at 9pm where possible. So that's that has helped with better sleep. So I have been having more sleep, but I'm still not there yet. Um, I'm trying, I try and do it in sleep cycles, so I either have six hours or seven and a half. But ideally seven and a half because I just don't think six is enough, especially because I do so much exercise. Um, but what I've realised is, and I was talking about this on the vlog, um, do you know with obesity, I was talking about do you know, eating disorders and the fact that, like, well, I was overweight when I had a really bad eating disorder. Um, but when we look at obesity, we just look at it as losing weight. So 
counting calories and therefore that would help and it's the same with sleep I think I was thinking it would be too easy just to adjust it because everyone's always on about sleep routines and you know having this perfect sleep routine but then when I think about it it is very much like the whole answer to obesity as well I know sleep is also an issue but it's a lot more complex so one I have the kids on my own a lot so you can't always gauge what they'll be doing like last night they woke up quite a number of times I ended up waking up in their bed I was kind of surprised myself um so you can't do that having kids on your own also when you're working hard and working long hours you can't always sort your work out you know you might be shift workers or zero hour contracts or like me working for yourself so you're having to hustle hard sometimes um I'm not saying we can't strive for a more balanced life we can always do better but it's a lot more complex again it's a bit like the obesity it's about like money like finance um health because mentally as well I think sometimes I don't allow myself to sleep because I feel guilty because I feel like I should be doing more there's always more housework to do there's always more work that I need to do um because when you work online so much of what you do isn't paid monetarily so like you get paid for sponsorships and brand ambassadorships but a lot of you know the social media posts all of that bit and the background stuff people don't see and that often isn't paid so then you're also trying to then make sure that you bring in paid work so then you're just hustling all the time so it's really hard and then when you've got kids as well and situations so I'm not excusing myself um I could have done better um but I think it's like making small changes to start with and then obviously the more sleep I get the more the easier it will be to make these changes so I'm still week one on my journey to better sleep that's what I'll say I'm not gonna say it's been a failure because it hasn't but I have failed in the sense that I thought I'd just be able to miraculously change my sleep habits like that in one week and it's something that I've always like addressed on the vlog and that is my one area where I am really weak. We need the weak areas, don't we? Otherwise, if we didn't have the weaknesses, we wouldn't notice our strengths. So my strength obviously is fitness. Like I, that I've got down to a T. I I do that first thing on the morning. So I've got my routine with fitness because I'm always moving, always doing stuff. But then when it comes to my sleep, that's where I am gonna get into a better routine. So if you have any sleep tips, or if you've been like me um, and struggled with sleep, let me know, comment below if you can, or tag me at Mama May Blog um, on all social media. Anyway, sleep well, send you so much peace. I am in my bedroom, it's boiling hot, but sadly I'm not going to bed yet because I've got to start out the kids and the house and I've still got loads of work to do. And this is my Saturday night single mom life anyway peace send you lots of love always oh, and you see my messy bed now because uh, my mic just uh, dropped i was trying to do my peace love and shimmies for you all peace love and shimmy sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite night all who am i kidding still got the kids to put to bed and my work to do and the house to clean and it's saturday rock and roll single mom life so anyway just a little outtakes for you peace love and shimmies i have to actually get off my bed now because sadly i can't just lie in it oh i just want to netflix and chill on my own not that i ever sit and watch netflix and chill on my own but you know even like reading i've got lots of books that just haven't been read and yeah oh well can't complain i wouldn't have it any other way in terms of the busyness i would in terms of the sleep but actually my new book's called eat sleep control repeat i'm just lacking the sleep bit <laughs>